For what man knoweth the things of a man save the spirit of man which is in him? Even so the things of God knoweth no man but the spirit of God. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God, which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Ghost teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. As we search the deep things of the Most High, our spiritual eyes are opening up and we are getting to know our divine nature, our spirit. Israelites, it is important to know that you have two natures, the flesh and the spirit. A lot of us gravitate to the flesh. The flesh part of us is what we are familiar with. Because we are born into a flesh body, we reason and do everything concerning this world in the flesh. When it comes to the spirit, a lot of people do not know anything about the spirit side of them. The spirit of many indigenous black people remain malnourished. The synagogue of Satan made sure that you do not understand nor operate in the spirit. If the people of the Most High learn to walk in the spirit, no weapon that is formed against them shall prosper. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. The word of the Most High said, when you walk in the flesh, you reap corruption. If you walk in the spirit, you reap life everlasting. He that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. Not too many people comprehend what Galatians chapter 6 verse 8 is saying to them. The dark powers that reside in this world made sure that the indigenous black people that are made in the image and likeness of the Most High neglect their spirit. Most people do not know they have two natures. When it comes to the indigenous black people, we are more spiritual than flesh. The beast system is designed to keep the indigenous black people operating in the flesh. The hybrid creation we live among operate and do all things in the flesh. The presence of the Most High is absent in the beast culture. That is why you never hear the other species of mankind call on the Most High for help. They always have an abominable solution. If you've been paying attention, there's been an increase of conversation about the other species of mankind revealing that they don't have souls. That is the reason they show zero sympathy towards the indigenous black people. They can't display a trait that they don't have. Just as the word of the Most High said, a good tree cannot produce bad fruit, nor could a corrupt tree produce good fruits. Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit. But a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Remember, Israelites, all emotions are spirits. The human body can hold multiple unclean spirits operating in it. The spirit of the Nephilim reside in the other species of mankind. The Neanderthal DNA confirms. The word of the Most High said the spirit of the Nephilim would dwell on the earth because they are part spirit and part flesh. And now the giants who are produced from the spirits and flesh shall be called evil spirits upon the earth and on the earth shall be their dwelling. The word of the Most High said that the spirit of the Nephilim would torment us. The Neanderthal would become unclean spirits on earth because they proceeded from the daughters of men and the fallen watchers. Their dwelling would be in the lower places. And the spirits of the giants afflict, oppress, destroy, attack, do battle, and work destruction on earth and cause trouble. They take no food, but nevertheless hunger and thirst and cause offenses. And these spirits shall rise up against the children of men and against the women, because they have proceeded from them. When the scripture said you are like your father the devil, the word is telling the truth concerning the hybrid creation we live among, as well as with the indigenous black people who align themselves with the hybrid and take on the mentality of the hybrid creation. 
It is important for the indigenous black people to know when you follow after the heathens, you become one with the heathens. Whatever judgment the Most High reserved for the wicked will fall on you. The scriptures warn the people of the Most High to learn not the ways of the heathens. Do not be partakers with them. Thus saith the Lord, Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them. Be not ye therefore partakers with them. Israelites, it is important that you understand spirit. The scripture said the most high is spirit. The word also say the most high want his servants to serve in the spirit and in truth. God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Why does the most high want his people to worship and serve in the spirit and in truth? To operate in the spirit is connecting with the most high. When you fast, it draws you closer to the Most High. Fasting disables the flesh and activates the spirit. Your spirit do not operate like the flesh. The flesh needs food and water to sustain it. Your spirit requires the word of the Most High to sustain it. The scripture said, Man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceed out of the mouth of the Most High does man live. And he humbled thee, and suffered thee to hunger, and fed thee with manna, which thou knewest not, neither did thy fathers know, that he might make thee know that man doth not live by bread only, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the Lord doth man live. The flesh need food, your spirit need the word and a relationship with the Most High. In other words, your spirit, which is eternal, has a different set of requirements to operate than the flesh. You can't nourish your spirit with earthly things. The book of Enoch revealed to us when Adam and Eve ate from the tree of life, the holy angel Raphael said to Enoch that when they ate, Adam and Eve attained wisdom from the tree, not a full stomach. Then Raphael, the holy angel who was with me, answered me and said, This is the tree of wisdom, of which thy father, old in years, and thy aged mother, who were before thee, have eaten. And they learnt wisdom, and their eyes were open, and they knew that they were naked, and they were driven out of the garden. At that time, their spirit was dominant. As soon as they ate from the tree, they obtained knowledge. Through the newfound wisdom, they realized they were naked. Prior to eating from the tree, they had no idea they were naked. Once they obtained a flesh body, that is when they hunger and thirst. Adam and Eve had to learn how to upkeep the flesh. As the indigenous black people get used to living on earth, the flesh side of them became dominant while the spirit became dormant and neglected. As the indigenous black people operate in the flesh, they drift from the most high. The Satans increase the lust of the flesh in our people, causing them to drift further away from the most high. Israelites, the most high does nothing according to the flesh. If the indigenous black people want to see the most high, they must understand spirit. The Most High communicate to your spirit. Your spirit is invisible. The eyes of the flesh cannot see spirit. When the Most High removed the bright nature from Adam and Eve, we lost the ability to see into the heavens when we obtained an eye of the flesh. And Adam said to Eve, Look at thine eyes and at mine, which before beheld angels in heaven praising, and they too without ceasing. But now we do not see as we did. Our eyes have become a flesh. They cannot see in like manner as they saw before. Then God the Lord said unto Adam, When thou was under subjection to me, thou hadst a bright nature within thee. And for that reason couldst thou see things afar off. But after thy transgression, thy bright nature was withdrawn from thee. And it was not left to thee to see things afar off but only near at hand after the ability of the flesh, for it is brutish. The word of the Most High said, you cannot please the Most High operating in the flesh. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please God. The dark powers that run this world understand when the people of the Most High operate in the flesh, it disconnect them from the Most High. The synagogue of Satan does everything according to the flesh to disconnect the people of the Most High from all things concerning the spirit. 
The synagogue of Satan accomplished their goal through religion. Religion is idolatry. The feel-good doctrine's intent is to disable the people. Some Israelites in the awakening need to be careful about the feel-good doctrines that are circulating in the awakening. The time has come for us to rise. In order to rise spiritually, we need to feed our spirit. Once the people of the Most High understand spirit, they will understand how to live and overcome the persecutions in this world. Remember, Israelites, the lower places is our second home. Paradise, the Garden of Eden, is our first home. But Adam and Eve wept for having come out of the garden, their first abode. Israelites, the reason it is important to get to know your spirit, as we enter a new era, we have to trust the Most High. Since the Most High will communicate with your spirit, you have to be able to understand what he is saying to you. The scripture said, in the last days, the Most High will pour out his spirit on his people. Both men and women will prophesy. And it shall come to pass, in the last days, saith God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. How can the prophecy of the Most High pouring out his spirit onto all flesh for both the men and women to prophesy if the indigenous black people do not understand the spirit side of them? How are you going to understand the prophecies the Most High is revealing to you if you don't know anything about the spirit realm? We are living at a time where the earth is groaning. We are seeing the heathen nations being flooded, nations against other nations, wars and rumors of wars, pandemic after pandemic and famines across the world. We are living at the time of the birth pains. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines, and pestilences, and earthquakes in divers places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. The Most High warned his people via his words when he gave his prophets the prophecies about the birth pains. The Most High asked his prophets to write their visions in a book to preserve. How can this generation preserve the visions and prophecies given to them if their spirit is malnourished and they cannot comprehend the dreams and visions given to them by the Most High? The reason a lot of the trials and persecutions that come upon this generation catches our people by surprise, the people do not take heed to the warning given to them. If they understand the warnings, they wouldn't be surprised by the events taking place in our generation. The Most High always warned his people about upcoming trials or even blessings to prepare his people. The scriptures are full of warnings with the numerous prophecies to better prepare the righteous for the upcoming times of trouble. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. When I began to search and talk about the deep things of the Most High, there are some indigenous black people and heathen that would ask me why I don't talk about the current world events. They proceed to say talking about the holy angels and the deep things doesn't matter. If the people of the Most High spend time searching the deep things of the Most High, the present state of this world wouldn't make them afraid. In addition, when you search the deep things of the Most High, you would already know what is taking place in this earth. The Most High will warn the righteous in the spirit realm about their life, the people around them, and the world. The dreams and visions the Most High gives to his people are not meant for you to ignore. When the Most High communicates to your spirit via a dream or vision, he is preparing you as well as giving you wisdom and understanding. For God speaketh once, yea, twice, yet man perceiveth it not. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, in slumberings upon the bed, then he openeth the ears of men, and sealeth their instruction. Israelites, it is important that you do not panic nor worry about the things you are witnessing in this world. The scripture said you cannot add an extra hour to your life by worrying. Why do it? Which of you by taking thought can add one cubit unto his stature? 
Israelites, the prophecies we are seeing unfold before our eyes was told to our ancestors long ago. Daniel is a prophet the Most High shared end time prophecies with. Prophecies such as in the last days, knowledge would increase. We are seeing this prophecy being fulfilled right now in the awakening. The prophecies manifesting has already happened in the spirit. The Most High shared these revelations with multiple prophets of old, as well as with people in our generation. So many Israelites and indigenous black people do not understand when they receive the prophecies. The scripture said it is important to get wisdom, but with getting wisdom, make sure to get understanding. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. Israelites, the prophecies you are seeing taking place in our generation are a manifestation of what have taken place in the spirit realm. Remember, everything that is going to take place will take place in the spirit realm first and manifest in the physical realm. If the events such as pandemics, flooding, and other disasters are taking place today, they have already taken place in the spirit realm. What we are witnessing is the result of what was foretold in the spirit realm. That is why it is important not to ignore your dreams and visions. Once it manifests, all you can do is prepare yourself. Instead of praying for the Most High to reverse what have already manifested, ask the Most High to provide and protect the remnant in the midst of trouble. For example, we are witnessing water and food shortages in certain regions, flooding in various places. You cannot reverse what is manifesting. What you should do is ask the Most High to protect and provide for your family, your people, and yourself. Therefore, take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek? For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. There are certain events that will take place that you cannot pray away. The Most High said he will judge the heathen nations. The indigenous black people have to learn to step back and let the will of the Most High be done. The Most High reassured his people multiple times that he would save the righteous. The Most High assigned the Holy Archangel Michael over our people. He would save our people at the times of trouble, all of our people whose names is written in the book. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Israelites, fear not. There is no need for you to panic. The Most High will provide and protect the righteous. If the people of the Most High understand the spirit, in addition, understand when the Most High is communicating with their spirit, they wouldn't be troubled by the dark forces that run this world and the judgment against the dark forces in this world. Knowing about the holy angels and how they operate in your life will prepare you for the times of trouble. Israelites, your spirit is the real you. The Most High has a holy angel that is over the spirit of men. The holy angel Raphael is the archangel that is over the spirit of men. Raphael, one of the holy angels who is over the spirits of men. Just as Michael is the holy archangel over our people, the Israelites, and he will save all who will receive salvation. Raphael is over your spirit. When it comes to the affairs about the spirit, Raphael is the angel the Most High sent to assist Enoch when it was time for him to understand the spirit. Raphael was the angel that explained to Enoch about the afterlife. Then Raphael answered one of the holy angels who was with me and said unto me, These hollow places have been created for this very purpose, that the spirits of the souls of the dead should assemble therein. Ye that all the souls of the children of man shall assemble here, and these places have been made to receive them till the day of their judgment, and till their appointed period, till the period appointed, till the great judgment comes upon them. The holy archangel Raphael explains to Enoch about Sheol and where each spirit of man is held once they enter the afterlife. 
Raphael explained to Enoch where the spirit of the righteous dwell until judgment day. Then I ask, regarding all the hallowed places, why is one separated from the other? And he answered me saying, these three have been made that the spirits of the dead might be separated. And this division has been made for the spirits of the righteous in which there is the bright spring of water. There are many other holy archangels spoken about in the book of Enoch chapter 20. In total, there are seven. Some of these angels, I cannot find any additional information. The little information I found about the other holy archangels, the heathens have polluted their purpose. Israelites and indigenous black people, if your spirit wasn't important, then the Most High would not set a powerful archangel over your spirit. Raphael is the holy angel, the Most High set over your spirit. You must connect with the spirit part of you to understand the most high. Israelites, do not wait until it's too late to pray against the things that are happening to your spirit. The indigenous black people must stop waiting for the last minute to pray against the enemy. Once it manifests in your life, Israelites, all you can do is ask the most high to protect and save you. If you don't do something about the warnings received before a trial or an event takes place in the spirit, you have to brace yourself for the outcome. Raphael is mentioned in the book of Tobit in the Apocrypha. The holy archangel Raphael said his role was to present the prayers of the righteous to the Most High. I am Raphael, one of the seven holy angels, which present the prayers of the saints and which go in and out before the glory of the Holy One. Although Raphael is set over the spirit of man according to the book of Enoch, the angels of the Most High serve many purposes. Raphael was sent to assist the people of the Most High. The Most High sent him to heal Tobit and Sarah, Tobit's daughter-in-law, in the book of Tobit. Israelites, the holy angels serve many purposes. The angels are the ones who perform the word of the Most High. When the scriptures say the steps of the righteous are ordered by the Most High, it is the holy angels behind the scene sent by the Most High directing your steps. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. When you connect with the angels, the will of the Most High will manifest in your everyday life. In order for you to obtain the things the Most High have for you, the holy angels are behind the scenes making it happen. Israelites, it is important for you to understand how the holy angels operate. You have a team of angels with you helping you. When the people of the Most High do not connect with the holy angels sent to assist them, they suffer. Israelites, it is extremely important that you nourish your spirit. Earthly food doesn't nourish your spirit. Fasting, praying, and reading the word of the Most High nourish and replenish your spirit. Prayer and fasting is mandatory on the battlefield. The indigenous black people live in a beast system that operates in the flesh. Israelites and indigenous black people, you are more than flesh. Your spirit is the real you. Do not let the synagogue of Satan consume you with the affairs of the flesh. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. The manifestation of prophecy and trials that take place in your life are the results of the people of the Most High taking heed to the warning or neglecting the warning. The Israelites and the indigenous black people have to take the necessary steps to make sure the outcomes of what is being revealed to you is what you desire. Sometimes the Most High will show you in the spirit realm what is pending against your life to give you the opportunity to change the outcome. You have to learn the difference. A lot of the trials and tribulations that are taking place today have been prophesied long ago. We are now seeing the result of what have already taken place. The Most High gave Daniel many prophecies and told Daniel the words are sealed until the appointed time. And I heard the man clothed in linen, which was upon the waters of the river, when he held up his right hand and his left hand unto heaven, and swear by him that liveth for ever that it shall be for a time, times, and an half. And when he shall have accomplished to scatter the power of the holy people, all these things shall be finished. And I heard, but I understood not. Then said I, O my Lord, what shall be the end of these things? And he said, Go thy way, Daniel, for the words are closed up 
and sealed to the time of the end. When you begin to operate in the spirit and understand your spirit, you will realize the Most High have been communicating with you all along. Due to a lack of knowledge, you didn't make the connection. Israelites, the spirit side of you is important. The Most High said he want his people to serve him in the spirit and in truth. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. Your spirit is the real you. The reflection you see in the mirror is not your spirit. For example, the Most High's face is described by Enoch like iron made to glow in fire. In the flesh, we are his visible image. The scripture said the Most High made Adam in his image and likeness. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. The Lord with his hands, having created man in the likeness of his own face, the Lord made him small and great. On the tenth heaven, Aravath, I saw the appearance of the Lord's face, like iron made to glow in fire, and brought out emitting sparks, and it burns. Thus I saw the Lord's face, but the Lord's face is ineffable, marvelous, and very awful, and very, very terrible. Israelites and indigenous black people, iron in its raw form has a dark hue. The color of iron is closer to black than white. The indigenous black people's skin tone is also dark, and the workers of iniquity label the indigenous black people as black. Do you see how they hide the truth in plain sight? If you have ears to hear, let them hear. I hope the indigenous black people all over the world will soon see the abominable image of what the heathens perceive to be the image of the Most High is false. I hope they begin to see the error in worshiping the graven images. The Most High command the archangel Michael to remove Enoch's earthly garment when Enoch was brought to his presence. And the Lord said to Michael, Go and take Enoch from out his earthly garments and anoint him with my sweet ointment and put him into the garments of my glory. And Michael did thus as the Lord told him. He anointed me and dressed me and the appearance of that ointment is more than the great light. And his ointment is like sweet dew, and it smells mild, shining like the sun's ray. And I looked at myself and was like one of his glorious ones. The new garment the holy angel Michael clothed Enoch with is described as to shining like the sun's ray. Just like the Most High's face is described to be shining. Enoch said he looked like one of the angels. Enoch was in his divine garment, his spirit. But God giveth it a body as it hath pleased him, and to every seed his own body. All flesh is not the same flesh, but there is one kind of flesh of men, another flesh of beasts, another of fishes, and another of birds, but also celestial bodies, and bodies terrestrial. But the glory of the celestial is one, and the glory of the terrestrial is another. I will say it again, Israelites, your spirit is the real you. If you don't know anything about your spirit, a major part of you is lost. The flesh body is temporary and is only useful to operate in this world. When you sleep, your earthly body remains here while your spirit is in the spirit realm. The scripture said when death occurs, the body returns back to dust and the spirit returns to the most high. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return unto God who gave it. Israelites, Use the help of the holy angels the Most High made available to his people to get to know the best part of you, your spirit. Your spirit is valuable enough that the Most High set Raphael, a holy angel, over your spirit. As the awakening bring forth great wisdom to those who cherish knowledge, take advantage of the food that is feeding your spirit. There is no hope in the flesh. As your knowledge increase, Israelites and indigenous black people, Give the Most High the opportunity to clothe you in your divine garment just as he did with Enoch. You are more than flesh. When you begin to operate in the spirit, you will see the Most High. Quench not the spirit. Despise not prophesyings. Prove all things. 
hold fast that which is good, abstain from all appearance of evil, and the very God of peace sanctify you wholly, and I pray God, your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ.